Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Yeah, part of what I wanted to talk about is um, in Biden's plan, which we're going to go over this here in the final hour, but, um, you know... Part of like Biden's plan says the Justice Department will issue an annual report on firearms trafficking. Um, does, is that going to include what's going on with guns al being allowed to go across the border and all that? Are we actually going to track someone down and, and, and make someone uh, pay the price for that? Dude, let, can I? I'm going to give you an anecdotal story real mm -hmm. quick. Okay. I'm outside in Atlanta smoking a cigarette one day. The special agent in charge, the big boss of all of Atlanta, Georgia, and whatever, comes down. We're smoking a cigarette together. He said, yeah, I'm out of here. I'm going to headquarters. I said, what do they got you coming up to headquarters for? Um, we got to re redo the firearms enforcement program, like the rules within ATF, how we enforce the firearms laws. Okay. And I was like, oh. You're going to be gone a while. He goes, no, I'll be up there two days. I was like, how are you going to rewrite the firearms enforcement problem? He said, Vince, you don't understand the big picture. We're going to go up there. They're going to tell us what our findings are. We're going to certify them or we're going to bless them. And then I'll be back in two days. It's not a big deal. And I went, are you me? Yeah, that's the problem we have. That's the freaking problem that we have. I See, and that's what scares me about Chipman, mm -hmm. because you're going to have special agents in charge, assistant special agents in charge, deputy assistant directors, mm -hmm. uh, assistant directors, looking to him, going, so what's our mission? What should we do? And he's going to be cramming all this. Shit. We want enforcement programs on ghost guns. We want uh, AR pistols. We want to go after this. We want to go after that. And they're going to say, Okay, that's what the boss says. No, it's not quite that easy. Congress makes laws, not ATF. Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. you. Walt, and take off. People have to understand. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Walt. Go ahead. Take off. No, I was going to say I take mean, off I'm your Wi-Fi. I'm, I'm taking everything off my phone. Okay, all right, cool. No, all right. And yeah, and you're making no effort. Your signal's a, li a little uh, degraded. Go ahead. Say signals. what you got to say. We can hear you. Um, that's the problem with this country in general is these regulatory agencies now think that they make laws and they're not the people who make laws. They're not you de facto. Know. They're not to be used for de facto laws. They're, I think what Vince is trying to say, Congress has to face the people on it. And if they make laws the, we're not happy with, then yes, they will get voted out of the office. The, the 19, the 1968 gun control act cannot be. Okay. Obviously they've, they've changed, they've added stuff to it and did all stuff. But technically, they can't change that. That's a law. That has to be done through Congress and all that stuff. But they've given these regulatory agencies, all, including the EPA and the Department of Energy and all these, the Forestry Service and all these other goofball agencies, all these, like, they can do and do, they can basically do whatever the hell they want. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and we're the ones that suffer with that crap. You know, hey, when, you, when you go. Stay out. Stay out of the legislating business. We're handed a group. Taxes. Just like DEA, just like FBI, just like the U.S. Marshals. Here's the laws. They're pretty clear cut. You can't do this or you can do that. You can't manufacture firearms without a license. This are the laws. Nothing more, nothing less. Then ATF starts getting in there out of political uh, expediency and goes, Oh, I'm Dave Chipman. Oh, Mr. Biden, you, oh, you want um, uh, pistols with high capacity magazines um, abolished? We'll make a ruling. No, you can't make a ruling. Oh it's a law. Yeah, that's yeah. not how it works. But the, pro the problem is, though, our lawmakers, these congressmen and senators, don't have enough nuts to stand up and say, hey, that's not your job. That's my job, because well, they don't want that. They don't want that job. 
when they're doing the wrong thing, we're supposed to do something about them. Let me just say that. Now, listen, I want to do a couple things. First of all, let me um, ask everyone out there to smash the thumbs ups. We have a lot of people li listening, watching, hanging out with us. Yeah, smash the thumbs ups. Uh, check out Vince's book. It's in the back there behind him, Rat Snakes. I'm sure he's going to throw it up here right now. Boom. Let's let's show that up there. Go ahead, Vince. We'll use that as a thumbnail. Rat Snakes, please uh, buy the book. Support Vince. He needs money to buy cigarettes and uh, uh, what is it? Alex uh, yeah, Alex cigarettes and, and alcohol. <laughs> yes. I need money to buy alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. Amen. Um, so <laughs> that's all the only got lost in a boating accident. Yeah, that's the only thing I agree with. Now we've got some questions we're gonna ask Vince coming up here. Okay, I've got rapid stuff that we're gonna hit on. Let me. Uh, Boss Hog, who always watches the show, says today is his mom's birthday. Happy mo birthday, mom. Happy Boss birthday. Hog. Yes, happy birthday happy to you. Happy birthday, Boss Hog Mom. Yes, I saw a picture of her somewhere. Uh, awesome, congratulations. Oh, in, in order yeah. to get my Wi-Fi going better, I had to shut my PC off. So uh -oh. I can't see the chat. So you guys can say whatever you want about me. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, man. yeah, we're not going to. Um, yeah, we're not going to. We're not going to say bad things about you, Walter. Why would we do okay. that? Yeah. I got thick skin. I don't care. Yeah. Um, John, I, Vin, go ahead. There's I a, turned off. Vince, Vince, I turned the news off after the election. I haven't yeah. watched the news since the election, so I don't care what they say about. Yeah. Me. Now, let me get off. another. There's another Thank super you. chat here. I'll get that up. Let's hit the applause on that. Uh John Ski, John Ski says, uh, Vince, what's your opinion of Chipman for head of ATF? If you have oh, one, God. also him posing at Waco in among the burnt remains of women and uh, children. Okay. Dave Chipman is a shill. He's a train wreck. He has no business. He didn't have any business being an ATF agent. He has no business being an ATF director. Um, he's a poser and a politician, and I don't think he'll make it out of committee. Okay, there you go. That's uh, pretty succinct not. on that, um, from not. from from uh, from Vince on that. Somebody who knows him. Yeah, yeah from someone who, kn who knows him. Did you guys ever actually work together? You said, was he your supervisor at some point? We didn't work together. I just yeah. knew him, and I didn't like him then, and I don't like him now. Okay. A, a political. Anybody that doesn't walk in front of that Senate subcommittee and says, I'm here to enforce the laws, nothing more, nothing less. Well, what is, what is your opinion on the Biden's administration? I have no opinion. The laws are the laws. I'm not going to increase enforcement. I'm not going to decrease enforcement. Mm -hmm. We are here to do a job. And we're going to do it. Anybody less than that needs to go. Yeah. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.